Ascension Classless Warcraft ASMR Let's Play. And last episode, I left off kind of upgrading a lot of my stuff since we did that <laughs> crazy dungeon where I leveled up. Oh, honestly, I think close to 10 times. <laughs> uh, So I have six ability essence to use, and I've been leaning toward getting the train mana and train life abilities because I think that would be pretty helpful for me. I did get the Conjure Mastery, I believe. Let's see. I wouldn't mind getting a Succubus, possibly. Do I have any more Shadow Priest abilities? percentages now. Nah. So it's going to be a while before I can really get anything of that nature. So I will get the drain mana and drain life. Because that's a good heal. Transfers 3% of the target's maximum mana every point or every one second from the target to the caster. It's a nice, if I do run low on mana, I don't know how often I would be using it. Um, I mean, it's not bad, but like, do like beasts and stuff, they don't have mana, right? So I don't know how helpful that would exactly be. Well, they don't either, or at least it doesn't show. Um, real quick, let me lower the music volume. I did that before, but I think I could lower it a bit more. Um, you know what? I'm going to focus on just the train life for now. And then I'll hold on to possibly getting... So I already have that. The health funnel would not be bad. Or the health stone, for that matter. But I'm, I'm going to keep it for ability essence and focus on using my talents. So let's go to the shadow priest first. Your damaging priest shadow spells have a 33% chance to the shadow damage you deal by 2% for 15 seconds. That's actually pretty nice. And I would assume that Shadow Word Pain is involved in that. By one second in your mind blast is a 33% chance to reduce the healing. Increases the range, reduces the cooldown. Mind flame. Assaults the target's mind with shadow energy, causing 93 damage over 2.98 seconds and slowing their movement speed. If your target is affected by a shadow word pain, increase the damage done by your mind flay, mind seer, and mind blast by 3% in your shadow word death, which I think is. No, okay. Man, see, yeah, I'm very conflicted to get here. There's so many good ones. Reduce its mana cost. Reduces the mana cost of your shadow spells by 2%. And you receive 5% of your base mana when shadow word pain or vampiric. Yeah, that's more of a PvP type thing. Gives you a 33% chance to gain a 10% bonus to your spirit after killing a target. That's a PvP. Oh, I'm so conflicted. This is so hard. I always struggle with this. Alright, let's see these. Corruption gains an additional 10% of your bonus spell damage. 
much. That's not bad. Corruption, drain life, drain soul, and shadow flame of 4% to cause you a shadow trance state after damaging the opponent and reducing the casting time of your next shadow bolt by 100%. That's actually good. Drain life and drain soul. So it's these two. So it would be good to have corruption on with that. I'm going to go ahead and get that. That's actually pretty nice. Damage done by Curse of Agony or Curse of Doom. I don't even have any of those. Returns 12% of your maximum mana if the target is killed by you. While you drain its soul, the target must grant experience or honor in addition your affliction spell. Generate 10% less threat. That's actually pretty decent. I might get that one. Reduce the casting time of fear. I don't have that. Increases the amount drained by your drain life and drain soul spells by additional 3% for each of your affliction effects on the target. That's not bad. That's not bad. Versus the target with agony, causing 36 shadow damage over 24 seconds. That's not much. It builds up. I mean... Which one would I want to get? That is kind of like a long-term effect. Huh. Attack power reduced. What the hell was that? Oh, weird. Oh, was that my, my void walk? Um, just 6% for each affliction effects. So I guess, like, corruption would be one. And curse the elements for five minutes, reducing. No, that's not. Force the target to speak. That's. Ah. This Curse of Agony would be the one. I'll go ahead and get that for now. And I'll put that over here. So what would be best? Probably Gore Corruption. Afflicts the target with a disease that causes 136 shadow damage over 24 seconds. 15% heals the caster. Okay, so yeah, that's not bad. I'll keep those down there. Life tap I don't have. My curse of weakness. Well, I don't have that. Increases the damage done by your curse of agony. Okay. The final rank of this talent grants curse of agony periodic damage. The ability to critically hit. Okay. Then I will put three into that, I guess. Chance to hit spells and abilities by 1%. In my spell haste, haste increases or decreases casting time, right? Or wrong? Haste, increase the speed. That, yes, so haste is good. I'll go ahead and put three into that. And that's what we will run with for now. I'm not totally confident on this, but it's... <laughs> It's what I'm going to run with. So, with that being said, let's sit down here and fully explore the Frost Main Hold and kill five headhunters. I'm not going to do any more wood cutting because I've got it pretty much maxed. Let's make sure. Oh, do I already have it? Uh, While applying to target weapon, it increases. Uh, is it already applied, though? I don't know. I guess so. But it does.
doesn't say that it is. How do I actually? Huh. I'm confused on how that works per se. Spells by 1% and spell crit. Okay. Can I do it on offhand as well? No. What about? No. Okay. Next up, let's just put these two on and we're good to go. So I may have to start fighting one of these. Maybe not. Can I avoid the still have to put some WD-40 on my desk. I've been saying that, and I've just been neglecting it. All right, well, we are going to have to fight a couple of them. So do I get my mana back? Let's see. Let's see how this works. How much mana do I actually... Oh, that's a pretty big chunk of mana, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, and I just got my instant cast. I wasn't even paying attention. And then we'll go ahead and hit him with the train mana to get that back, and then we'll do it to them as well. Yes, I like that. That's pretty good. Oh, I didn't even realize it was instant cast. I wish it would tell me. That would be helpful for sure. Maybe there's a little indicator, but I'm not really seeing it.
the back. Oh yeah, that's great. Oh, maybe that's okay. So that is the the indicator there. And I do get a little notification. I just need to pay attention to that. Got it, got it, got it. Alright, let's get through this whole thing here. I don't exactly know where I'm going, but I'm just traveling. I'm just a lowly traveler. I'll follow this dude. He might know where to go. I assume I just keep going this way. So I don't have to fight him. Please, thank you. I don't gonna have to fight them. I'm not gonna just rely on this dude. Yo. Is the cute explore complete for you? I don't think so. No, it's not. I think he's talking about the same thing that I'm doing. Maybe it's bugged. Oh, <laughs> well, thanks for the heads up. This isn't working, or maybe I need to go a different way. I'm going to do one more lap and just see. Let's get some health up. We got an instant cast for our next one, so we can do a double like that. Let's get a little.
the same thing to this guy. Get some. So I'm pretty self-sufficient with the drain life and the drain soul having that uh, that one thing on there. Get some dots on him. Get a little bit of health up. dots up and then get the drain soul then boom it's one percent mana okay yeah this still isn't uh giving me the expiration so i assume this just does not work it is currently bugged so i'm going to head out of here Stone take me thunder brew which that's I believe here I'm just gonna go ahead and use it and see I'm not totally positive but we here shall see Sweet, it was. This is exactly where I wanted to go. Nice. Alright, now. Let me go ahead and open up this stuff and start selling the stuff that I've collected, which actually let me do that first. because I'm keeping all of these, but we'll have to just uh, make room at some point. See you soon. Let's see, I guess I could just make those for now. Thunder Ale. Maybe it means 
lines down here. No, okay. Well, how do I get to set Thunder Ale? Um, what do I need? Basement is in a good place. Oh, okay, okay. So. Basement of the distillery. Replace a barrel of Thunder Ale with a barrel of Barely Brew. So do I have that? I do. Okay, so I need to click on, I guess, one of these things here. Which one? How do I actually do that? Do I just make That's not it. Huh. Yeah, what am I supposed to do with this quest in the basement of the Thunder Brew Distillery, which is where I'm at? Replace a barrel of Thunder Air. Okay, so... It says I've already completed it, though. And if the barrels are guarded, then you might have to distract the guard here. Take this barrel, sneak into the basement, and switch it with of Thunder Ale. Then we'll see how their patrons like my brew over theirs. I'm in the right place, but I just don't know Hi. what I'm distracting. Yeah, how am I supposed to do this? <laughs> I have no idea. I don't have, like, Yeah, I'm not sure at all how to get this done. I might just skip it for now because I'm so confused. There's nothing that I'm seeing for me to interact with. Maybe in here? No, these are all the same. Okay, so I'm going to say screw this quest for now. Maybe that's another one that's bugged, or I'm just dumb. Let me see. Wait. Okay, I thought I had a merchant here I could get from. Um, Alright. Let's then go over here. Turn this one in. Oh, 20%. 
25, I get a fourth of my mana back. That is absurd. That is amazing. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Let's go over here. because this is just a mountain range although there are enemies up top but how do I actually get up there? I'm assuming I need to kill them oh there's a path over here, I see it yeah I guess I need to kill them to get the shimmer weed if I had to guess
few spells that we've got. So I think if I need health, based on what I can read here, drain life and so by 6%, so I could get up to 12% extra. And I don't know how much that would transfer, 12% of 12, I don't even know, but it gives me a little bit boosting in the, uh, the, the health. I mean, same thing with the drain soul. So I guess the power drawn from the void increases the periodic shadow the periodic shadow priest damage by 20% for 5 seconds and increases. So I guess that's just you start targeting one enemy and then pop that and it will apply to the ones around him. That's good for like dungeons or stuff like that, I would assume. But Alright, let's turn this in. something and then I can grab that okay I can't grab that there we go open that and stamina and intellect spell power by 17 and crit by 3 that's actually great but that spell power by 19 and crit by 3 7 intellect intellect with it. Yeah, okay. So we'll get that. Then I'll sell some of this stuff to you. We'll sell that. That. Get rid of this stuff. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. Then we can sell that and that and we are done. So that is going to this one guys if you enjoyed it be sure to drop a like and subscribe for more content like this and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for the continued support and i'll see you